Morrison's. And we won $165 million from the lottery. Just seven months ago, Mary and Rich Morrison lived here with four of their six daughters, and the family was on the brink of financial disaster. I see a sad-looking house right now. I see a house that was full of um, activity and love and was a great house for us for all those years. Right back there was the car that I was driving. It would break down, and um, I couldn't pass inspections. It was humiliating. It was. For years, the Morrisons made a living running homeless shelters. But when the county shut them down in 2005, Mary and Rich fell on hard times and could barely pay the bills. We were living um, really poor. It was tough. I thought we were going to lose our house. Then, just before Christmas 2009, Mary's daughter Angel urged her mom to buy a lottery ticket. I was with my mom when we bought the ticket. It was a week before Christmas, and I saw the lotto sign. I was like, no, it'd be really nice if we won this. And mom was like, no one wins. I was like, you know, it wouldn't hurt to try. So she went, bought the tickets, and we, we won. The next morning, Mary checked her numbers and realized she really did have the winning ticket. I shook. I jumped up and down on the bed. I jumped on him. I was screaming, yelling. I went ballistic. And the next thing I know, she was on top of me, riding me like sea biscuit, shaking my head, saying we won. I thought she was actually trying to kill me. The Morrisons won $165 million in the New York Mega Millions Lottery, making them Long Island's largest jackpot winners ever. We're going to start a foundation, and we're going to help people that are destitute. They took a lump sum payment of $102 million and ended up with $75 million after taxes. With that payout, the Morrison family moved from their 3,000-square-foot home to this $3.9 million, 13,000-square-foot mansion set in an exclusive enclave of Long Island. The designer house comes complete with indoor and outdoor pools, five bedrooms, and seven bathrooms, one with 18 karat gold faucets. The six Morrison girls, who used to borrow three to a room, now have loads of space, but they're still very close. Ranging age from the youngest, 14-year-old Angel, to the eldest, Dawn, who at 39 sometimes looks at her sisters as daughters. I get mixed up sometimes between Pat, uh, being a sister and, like, looking at them as a child, you know, as if, as if they were my own. When you grow up in a house of all girls, like, you already have best friends, so we, all of our friends are friends, but we really are each other's best friend. First on the Morrison's Daily Agenda, a workout with their personal trainer. Everybody finish up that ass, and we'll get started on your body. The trainer comes three days a week to help the family maintain their resolution to get in shape. We all decided to get fit. Part of the workout, running laps in the house. Three minutes, come on, slow down. No, thank you. Come on, you can finish, go. And when it's over. Yeah. It's time to eat. Hello. But it's not mom and dad scrambling the eggs. My name is Steven, and I'm the chef for the Morrisons for this week. As of right now, I'm making a frittata, which is an Italian egg that's being baked with scallions and asparagus. Then I'm doing some eggs and steak benedict. I'm cooking for eight people. I'm making two meals a day. And he does dishes. What is it? It's a frittata. It's, a pizza. it's an egg pizza. <laughs> it's an Italian egg pizza. <laughs> it's a frittata? A frittata. You're cursing at me. <laughs> The great thing about the chef, he cooks two meals a day, and they're very good meals. I always tell my dad when we were struggling, Daddy, there's a light at the end of the rainbow. Who knew this was the end of the rainbow and this was the light? The smell of the rainbow. <laughs> hey. At the end of the rainbow, Mary's dream home. Hi, welcome to the Morrison's new home. This room is 
where I've placed a lot of our angels that we've collected through the years, and I do believe in angels. And every one of the 22 rooms is decorated by Mrs. Morrison. Can you imagine? I've always wanted a large table where my family could sit down and be together. And this is the casual room where we sit around and just hang out and children, the grandchildren jump all over the place. We watch the TV. It's more, actually every room is comfortable. Even the family pet got an upgrade. He's um, the talking bird. I don't know if I can get him to talk, but Leo. Hello. Hello, Leo. He'll live to 80. He moved into a mansion, too. He had this half a cage like this. Now he's got a big cage that needs to be cleaned. But sometimes it can be a little annoying, but, you know, it was a Mother's Day present for my husband. Come on down. Downstairs, there's a state-of-the-art home theater. It's great for the whole family to come in and watch movies. We do that often. Upstairs, the girls picked out their own furniture. I'm Rose, and this is my room. It's my favorite room in the house because at my old house, I never had my own room. My favorite thing is probably my bed. I really, really like the fact that it's big, even though it's too big for me, but I jump on it, and it makes it easy. For Rose, the best thing about winning the lottery is simple. It was just so wonderful to see my mom and my dad happy. That's the only thing you can really ask for in life, is to see your family happy, and there's no other feeling like that in the entire world. Her sister Joy's room is full of mementos and family pictures. Me and my sister shared our bathroom between the three of us. Having my room, everything's in place, and in my bathroom I have everything when I need it. I'm just so thankful and so happy that we were blessed with such a miracle. Hi, I'm Angel. I'm the last of six, and this is my room. To see my favorite part is this, because when you look inside of it, it's like different colors, and it's really cool. And just down the hall are Mama and Papa. This is the master bedroom. This is uh, a bed that we especially picked out. Actually, this is the piece, first piece of furniture we picked out, and it just made really made us feel special for the first time. The master suite comes with balconies overlooking the garden and pool. I'm in another world. I really am. I really am. Then now um, you go into the master bathroom. That's a jacuzzi. His and her fountain. Beautiful shower. I mean, this is like unbelievable to me. If you only knew how they shower. If you only knew. Along with the new digs, Mary Rich and the girls all got fancy new rides. One of my girls says, Mom, you can have a car. And I'm like, yes, I can have a car. And that was a big thing, just to have a car that worked well. The win was an unbelievable blessing. But a lawsuit soon cast a shadow over the family's good fortune and reputation. They made us out to be crooks. It's a lie. No, it's a lie. Okay? It's a lie. And the lottery win helps an Iowa couple save the farm.